The setting sun is but one of the marvels of our existence. It marks the rhythm of our lives, a cycle of light and warmth. But around and beyond our star, the universe can be colder, often violent and obscure. It is this unknown that space science has set out to explore, reaching today a defining moment. This is the stage beyond just drawing a rough map of where we are. We're in the true exploratory era, the surveying of the new territories. No longer is it, gee whiz, we're up there. It's now, where are we? What are we? How does it reflect to us back on Earth? Since the very first satellites carrying science instruments, understanding the cosmos has much improved. Our star, the Sun, for instance, has today been delved to its very core, observed continuously and from all directions by the joint ESA and NASA probes, Ulysses and SOHO. The planets of our solar system have also been explored, from our nearest neighbours with the Mars Express and Venus Express orbiters to its most distant moons. Many remember the immense emotion when ESA's Huygens probe floated down to the surface of Saturn's Earth-like moon, Titan. This knowledge of the universe also relates directly to our future. Knowledge and understanding are at the root of our society. It's not just a human want, it's actually a human need. It's very important to find out why Mars and Venus are the way they are in order that Earth does not turn into Mars or Venus. And if you care about humanity, somebody ought to be looking at these questions. Orbiting telescopes such as Hubble, XMM-Newton or Integral help astrophysicists understand the violent processes at work as galaxies form, as stars are born and die in spectacular explosions. And the most distant objects of the universe are being unveiled. As we look further, we see back in time. It's a detective story we're doing. We're seeking the clues that tell us how we got from the original chaos in the Big Bang to, perhaps ironically, the order and discipline we see on the Earth today. Space science, the mandatory core of the European Space Agency's activities, has marked history with an amazing series of achievements. The advanced technologies used, the human experience and efforts required are recognised worldwide. But success is never guaranteed. There are sometimes great disillusions that have to be surpassed to recommence and go even further. Probably one of my lowest moments was the loss of Beagle 2. I know how much the science was going to be groundbreaking and still has to be done. It was a bridge too far, yet nothing ventured, nothing gained. Over decades, ESA's science program has been conducted with long-term vision and on many occasions in international partnerships. The Cosmic Vision Initiative is today paving the way for the missions to launch starting in 2015. Understanding the nature of dark matter, bringing back samples of an asteroid, returning to the moons of Saturn or Jupiter, establishing whether life existed on Mars, the choices are often difficult with budgets that are not indefinitely expandable. Priorities have to be decided, responsibilities shared, international teams must be harnessed. There's no individual space scientist. There isn't such a thing. Everybody works together and we all support each other and that's actually one of the ways we impose rigour. We try and make sure that everybody is accountable to everybody else. That way, in teamwork, you get wonderful results. Pursuing its space science effort, Europe is consolidating its technological know-how and competitiveness in many often unrelated disciplines. The spirit of adventure and exploration also fires the imagination of youngsters, prompting their interest in science. Impossible, then, to rest on one's laurels. You can never have the feeling with space science, with exploring the universe, been there, done that. I'm sorry. We have been there, we have done that, 
But there is the next hill to cross, and frankly, we can revolutionize our understanding perhaps by the next discovery we make. So ESA's pursuit of ambitious science programs is greatly advancing mankind's overall scientific knowledge. In the words of a classic saying, there's nothing new under the sun, but there are lots of old things we don't know.